Hey, welcome back, y'all. It's Joe Sizzy here with another episode in the Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Last time we finished up some quest and ran into Jules. The, I, I guess he's proprietor of the the gym and and Midgard and Section Eight. But him and some of his other weightlifting buddies are out here for their uh, summer training camp or whatnot, and we uh, took out some fiends around the area for him <clears throat> and partook in the uh, sit-up or the crunch-up competition, or Tifa did, and we took on Amina, who was a admirer, admirer of Tina's, and got into that, and... Excuse me. I, uh... But, uh, after I was done with the episode, I decided I wanted to challenge the other ones, the, the other uh, competitors to it. And... I'm glad I didn't record myself doing so, because... Suffice to say, there was some frustration and just a tiny bit of anger come out on that. It's it's pretty tough. Pretty tough. I it's I I had a tough time with it. It's it's a tricky little mini game, uh, especially Jules. You have to essentially not mess up. It's well, not a you you cannot mess up. At all. Um, well, that's not true because when I finally did do it, it took me about half an hour just to beat Jules. It was ridiculous. And I'm gonna get away because this uh, chocobo sign spinning around is driving me crazy. And it took, yeah, like I said, it took about half an hour and I had to turn off the music and all the voices and just have the sound effects and just concentrate on Tifa, which I do a lot. Anyway, so, and I finally got it. And yeah, something about using the trigger buttons because the last, in the last game, it was just the face buttons during the gym mini games. And that was tough, but it was a little easier. The, the, the top, the trigger buttons, R1, L1, L2, R2, all that. And sometimes when you're you know, pressing them, you know, you're kind of, you got a tempo and it, it's ever, you know, always, it's increasing, you know, bit by bit. You know, sometimes you tap it and it won't register it and you, you mess up and then they also have the, the different types of rings where you have to, where it's glowing, you have to, or glowing yellow, you have to rapid fire and then you, if it's green, you hold it down and when it gets all the way, you press the trigger fully implementing the adaptive triggers and whatnot. So, yeah, finally got there, and I got the Champion's Belt, which was actually, in the in Remake, was a pretty good accessory. Uh, in this game, it was worse than the accessory I already had equipped on pretty much everybody. And it was kind of the slap in the face, but I was determined to get through it. Primarily just because I'm stubborn like that, and... Uh, there's also, I, secondarily, I think there's also a trophy tied to it, too, so. But, uh, oh, I can't, uh, oh, we can't go to Mount Corel in our beach gear. That is very disappointing, but, yeah. To catch up in the here and now, we're making our way west or towards Mount Corel, and I guess... With a heavy heart, I'll take all of our beachwear off and just go to back to our boring old default gear. Oh, it's just it looks so plain and drab in comparison. Out of service. So we've got to walk? Ah, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. 
Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. Right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud. Materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> All right, timeout's over, team. Let's go. You know, Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's fine. Permission to sing, sir. What? Permission to scratch my back, sir. Permission huh? to blow my nose, sir. Huh? Ooh, so good. Uh, Do you get permission to yawn? Do you get permission or not? So, you can do it while you're warming the bed. That's an abuse of power! Tyrant! Tyrant! Tifa, tell me how would you put up with this jerk face? <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. Yeah, by how much? <laughs> like 51% good guy to 49% jerk face? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. Not you two, Tifa. Ganging up on Barrett again. He does make a big target. Okay. Uh, I don't know, something tells me there's not really gonna be a whole lot in these... ...rocky parts. I think Aerith might need a break. Are killing me. <sighs> Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the materia I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and scout the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. <laughs> catch up later, my ass. <clears throat> <sighs> Think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's. Not himself right now, you know? I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. Will do. Well, at least Red hang hung back, too. Alright. I got here... Mega Potions. Yes, please. And that seems to be all that's for sale. I do have Barry and Empowerment Materia. That is good to keep in mind. Uh, hmm. That is better than what Red's got on currently. Yeah. Buy another one of those. Now, what else could... Red put on? Hmm... Maybe Chakra? Yeah. I got a three-star Chakra Materia from the Crunch-Up minigame, too, so... And I already leveled up my weapons off-screen, so... Aha! Uh -huh. What is this? Innervation. And it would appear that Aerith just got another weapon. Golly. Wizard's Rod, magical staff once wielded by a formidable spellcaster. Lustrous Shield cast Conjure, a magical shield that keeps enemies at bay and stops projectiles. Oh, cool. 
Links above the, yeah, links a bunch of bateria and also adds another slot. Is there any yellow materia that would work with her? Hmm. Not really. Um, I had another protect fortification, I mean. That'd be pretty good, but... Uh, I guess morph. Can't really think of anything else. <clears throat> hmm. This is Tempest damage, yep. I'll do HP too. I swear, I think she's got the most weapons. Yeah, there actually was something off the beaten path there. Which makes me want to explore all the other places like Nord. Okay, that's the gondola station there. story time. Well, not story, really. Just kind of a, an account of my day. I tried to do a little DIY work and repair one of my controllers, as uh, I have said uh, quite a, <laughs> quite emphatically and, and passionately. I have two bum controllers. They both have sticks that are suffering from drift, as you can notice. You know, this camera keeps drifting up there and so I took the one I took the white controller which is has the bum left stick which as annoying as right stick drift is left stick drift is in my it's it's worse in my opinion so I thought I'd try and you know pry it open take it apart see if I could actually um you know Try to see if there was any like gunk or dust or anything like that, because I play in a very dusty room and I'm I'm really bad. I'm I'm terrible about keeping my space clean. I just never feel like doing it. And so I busted it open. Eh, I had a little trouble here and there, but actually quite a bit of trouble. I could uh, just even frying the damn thing open. I had some uh, issues. But I finally got that. Finally got it. Got it open. Got the, uh... You know, got it where the screws were exposed and were able to remove those. And... And got it open and... Got to where you could see the... You could see the battery and the battery well and the... And the circuit board. And... And the video I was watching, they recommended to taking out the, you know, removing the battery from the connector, you know, where it connects to the to the motherboard, and just kind of set it to the side. Well, I couldn't get, I could not get the connector to come off the, uh, to come out of the the circuit board, you know, because it's got a little, it's got a 
the, it, it's got a socket there that's uh, attached to the to the circuit board, and the connector is you know kind of seats inside that. Well, I couldn't get the connector out. Uh, I, I sat there for literally like like 20, 30 minutes trying to get this damn connector out. So I just thought I, I'm tired of fooling with this. I was I was worried because I was working. I was using tweezers trying to pull it out. Use my fingers. Uh, use little. Uh, plastic little pry bar I got and I just thought okay I'm just gonna try and see if I can get to the control stick modules with, with the battery attached and I was able to I had to remove some of the ribbons and uh, I guess you can't go up that way from this direction gotta go all the way around and just sitting there trying to like oh where do I go well, gotta get there and so yeah i was able to i was kind of able to you know, get the circuit board turned around so i could see the control sticks in the modules and i was able to like pop open the little sort of the sort of the, the uh brackets or compartments they're in whatever you call them and clean out the uh, the uh, potentiators, I think they're called uh, uh, potentiometers, I think uh, that might actually be it, I don't know <laughs> and there's these little these, you know, tiny little circular doodads in there called the uh, slider and the fader and it's basically it um, kind of it, it what it does is it, it sends electrical current toward to two terminals in sort of a like a semicircle arc pattern and it can get in the dual sense they can get they can get a bunch of gunk and dust and stuff in there so got a q-tip got some alcohol cleaned it out it didn't when I was done cleaning it it didn't look like there was a ton of dirt on there but it probably needed to be done um, so I cleaned all that was able to pop it out but while I was doing that during my ministrations the uh, the battery was just kind of it was it was just kind of flopping around and the connector popped out like i like not literally out of the socket i mean the socket connector everything just fell or i should say i guess it more like it tore off the circuit board and yeah now it looks like i'm gonna have to if i want to reattach it i'm gonna have to solder it back on and that's just you know, at that point, I was just kind of tired. Moving on, then. I have soldered stuff before on a circuit board. It's, um... Eh, you know, it's, it, you know, luckily I got a soldering iron that I can use, but... It's just, I, I'm not... I am... Really bad... At... At, like, kind of delicate tasks that require really, really... Hone motor skills like you know just like little like minute things that you work you know working with delicate things with your hands and whatnot because when i was like I, like when i was prying open the controller i popped some crap too like little tiny little cheap plastic latches and crap like that that i'm just i gotta throw away so it's uh we're gonna fight or what what's the deal here running away Oh, I just remember these are new enemies, so I guess I should be. I guess I should be assessing the situation. Nope. Not that. Keep 
Uh, maybe you've wrecked that barrier on the other side where the enemy is. Wow. Cloud is getting his butt kicked. What's going on over there? But yeah, uh, so, yeah, <laughs> to sum up, I, my little project's not quite done yet, so tomorrow I'm going to try and see if I can, uh, oh, wasted that. I'm going to go tomorrow, I'm going to see if I can kind of resolder that, resolder the pins to the capacitors, and hopefully it's just... Hopefully it's just a matter of just like put a little bit of soldering on there. Just make sure that make sure that connector stays on the circuit board. Cuz it's not like uh, cuz I <laughs> tested it out today. Well, I didn't really test it out when I was um when I was messing with the thing, the controller, and front, you know, taking it apart, I forgot I, you know, I was in the other room where my PS5 is, and it turned it on when I accidentally pressed the the PlayStation logo button on the controller. So I had to go, I had to go in my uh, room where the console was and turn it off, and then unplug the console so that wouldn't happen again. Okay, I guess that's everything around here. So, yeah, I know the battery works, and I know it was... It was, it's, you know, kind of... There was uh, power running to the capacitors and whatnot, and just gotta... Hopefully it's just a matter, like I said, of soldering it on, and... Hopefully not causing a short at the same time, but... Uh, shouldn't be a too big of an issue. Wise guy using gravity, huh? How about you back off? Moving on then. Okay, is Red? Yeah, he's mastered that spell. I thought so. So I can just go ahead and make Aerith the leader. Hey, look! If my well, if my camera permits. I can see the Fort Condor reactor all the way over there. I think that's what that is. That's the ship, that's the ruined facility, there's the gym. Oh, I'll never set foot in that gym again. <laughs> oh, I'm serious, y'all. I was... <laughs> I was hopping mad, figuratively. I didn't literally hop, but... I was getting so irritated. And it was to the point where I seriously thought I needed to just back off and just just try again another time. But when I was when I turned off when I turned off the music and I turned off the voices, that helped tremendously. And I got it on the second try after that. And then the first try, when I turned off the the volume, I actually tied with jewels. And it was, oh my, that, that was, the, that really, <laughs> that kind of pushed me over the edge. I was just like, I was like, are you effing kidding me? I could not believe it. But luckily I got it in the next one, so... I wasn't fuming for too long. <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't remember having that much difficulty in Remake with those many games. And what is this graffiti? It's a, 
It is an arrow, and it looks like Frankenstein. Or, oh no, oh, I know what that is. That is Barrett. Yeah, I bet Yuffie made that. I bet that is her handiwork. Directing us towards these stairs. Most likely. Here's the station at the summit. Yeah, to kind of follow up on the reasoning why I, all you know, uh, why I chose the white one, not just because it's, you know work on the left step, but because it's also my original controller that I got with the console, so it's about well, it's more than four years old whenever they made the thing, but nearly four years since I bought the bought the PS5, and I've already uh, the warranty is you know, well past its expiration date. I mean, I've already exercised it. I've already sent it in to get repaired. Uh, they're supposed to replace it, but I don't know if... I don't think they did either time. I think they just maybe changed out the, the modules on the control stick and just, you know, called it a day. Is that a... No. I thought that was a deer carcass. I don't know why. Uh -huh. What is this? A secret staircase. And materia! MP up. Oh, I can't believe that Yuffie missed that one. That's another good view there. Not bad at all. But, uh, oh yes, I forgot to finish my thought. But yes, it's, it's, it's my older of the two, uh, my two controllers. And it's got the more serious problem, in my opinion, or at least the more irritating stick is, is not working. I, I decided to kind of use that as a sort of a test run, test model. Because... I've never tried to pry it. I've never tried to open up and tinker with the PlayStation 5, contr the DualSense controller before, because even though I have two of them, I was I was able to send in both, and they stopped. You know, they started showing signs of drifting, and a uh, oh, <laughs> she actually painted herself that time. Or is that Tifa? I can't. Is it? I think that's Yuffie it's with the short hair. Uh huh. Almost walked right past this treasure. They're nothing. Go on. Uh 
Uh, she's kind of... She's adding more and more. Barrett's got shoulders now, it looks like. <laughs> He's got his jacket on. Okay. That's not a Billy Master. No time to waste. Now I can switch back to Cloud. Well, that's just back where I was. I don't know why he started out in Punisher mode. That was interesting. I didn't press triangle. I do not get the I do not get the camera sometimes. I I press R3 to lock on. And yeah, you can stop that right now. Press R3 to lock on. And instead of locking on to the enemy it is directly in front of Cloud, he locks on to the one behind him. Yeah, it's it's head scratching, to say the least. There's probably a bench nearby anyways. So. Oh well, got a quite a bit of hit high potions. And, and you can't use them for anything else, so might as well heal. Getting a lot of minerals up here. I guess that fits being a mountain and all. And that's nowhere. All right, both lead to the same place. I think that's the wall from earlier. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the graffiti says upwards. You still holding up okay? Yeah, feeling great actually. Could do this all day. It's like it's like someone's pulling me up. You become one with the mountain. Say what? Really? I did? Hey! Thanks for having me! The hell are you doing, Red? <laughs> happens to all new climbers. If she passes out, I'll carry her. Let's go! 
Yes, I, what I believe is actually happening is because we're getting we're getting higher elevations, climbing up and up. There's less oxygen, and that is making Aerith lightheaded. That is why she is so giddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been one of the best lines delivered by Cloud's VA, and I'm, I'm ashamed to say I can't, I, I, I forget his name. I've read it before a few times, but that might have one of his best lines, like, what the hell are you doing, Red? <laughs> like, what are you telling this girl? Become one with a mountain. Okay, I guess we'll climb the ladder. Why not? It's right there. And when in doubt, use Triple Slash. I guess this is the right way, yeah. Yeah, I should have suspected. Seeing as it opens up here, but I'm gonna go back there. It looked like there was a kind of a, a kind of a little side path. Not a big one, but oh look. Precious ores, gems. And zinc! We all know how useful zinc is. It actually is. Watch the instructional video. Come back, Zink. This is down where I was. Oops. Oh, what the hell happened there? He just instantly transported to the bottom of the stairs. so much as nodded my way. Even try calling out to a few sick-looking fellas all in black, and what did I get? Silence. <sighs> I guess these days never learned to greet each other or something. Yep. <sighs> They're real jerks. Especially the big guy with the gun arm and the annoying little ninja girl. These things look new. Oh, they're turtles. I got their protective shelling. That's 
do it right. Yeah, they're weak to ice, so. Jeez! Leave Aerith alone! Now leave me alone. I don't think so. See, I think Red's got Blizzard, too. Yeah, everybody's doing fine. Seeing more and more signs of the reactor. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? What was that hopping? Oh, you need things. Two legged spiny back toads. What's that? What's that flying down with a helicopter? Is that an airbuster? Nope. Can't break those. She finally added Tifa. <laughs> I guess Tifa must have caught up with her there. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm watching a story unfold yeah. before me. First thing, rest up. So I think second thing I want to do, well, a couple second things, uh, change this. I don't use this ability really at all. Um, and then transmit some items here. Uh, ether? Yeah, sure. I got plenty, but... 
Gold needle, yep. Got plenty of items there, too. Alright. Yeah, these aren't really that great. Beguiling armlet's got a lot of materia slots. It's got that going for it. I guess I can make one of those just because I, I have the... Uh, I have the mats. Planet Splendor, Gumgaga Pine. Yeah, I don't have either of those, so can't make those. I don't have enough exquisite B-sides, apparently. Uh, I know I can buy beast pelts, but exquisite B-sides, I'm not sure. Boiler valve. Oh, a dive device used to control both water pressure and temperature in public made boilers. Uh, did I need this for something? Hmm. I felt like I needed to make that for something else that I missed, but. We may never know. I like the star pendant, even though I think it's a waste of zinc. Make one of these. One of those. And I guess that's it. Yeah. All right. Uh, who needs to make ether where you can buy them for a hundred gil? Well, buy one at least. Uh, okay, let's see. Want to see if there's any that were maxed out and sell a few of them. I don't know where I arrived at the number 70 for the ideal number for materials, but... At first I thought 50 would be good, but then... When I started transmuting more and more items, I saw that some of them required 40 or 50 of them, so... After that I figured, uh, oh, well, I better keep... I better keep at least 60. So, 70 seems like a good amount. Okay. Alright, well... This one... This episode's getting a little bit long. So, and a lot of that was just my rambling about... Breaking my controllers even worse than they are, so... Apologies for, yeah, having to endure that. But, uh, next time... We can focus on who is in that Shinra helicopter and what sort of memories 
is Bear going to be going through? And uh, we're going to dig up anything in his past, but uh, find out. I'm, I was wondering what that red light that was shimmering on Cloud's sword. I think it's, I think it's the f light from Red Thirteen's tail. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I am. I, I, I will. I will grasp at every butterfly that fri flies in front of my face. If y'all haven't realized yet, but thanks for sticking around with me this long. And I will see y'all in the next one, hopefully. Y'all take care.